All right, to talk about this further, let's bring in Texas Congresswoman Beth Van Dyne, along with Arizona Congressman Andy Biggs, also a member of the Freedom Caucus. Uh, guys, thank you so much for coming on. Good to see you both. Good to see you, Rob. So, so Congresswoman, we're, we're seeing rule breakers already. I'm seeing them pop up on Twitter. Uh, they're trying to make a pretty loud point of it to Nancy Pelosi. Uh, what uh, are you and your team going to do? Well, I mean, normally when you see power hungry leaders, that used armed, uh, armed police to control people and shut down dissidents. They're called, they're called dictators. Mm -hmm. But in Washington, D.C., we call them Madam Speaker. And what we're facing here, don't kid, kid yourself, this has nothing to do with protecting people. This has nothing to do with, with, with protecting people's safety. If that were true, look what's happening across the country. In the Speaker's own city, they're not, they're not prosecuting people who steal less than $800. In St. Louis, they let go two people that were accused of murder because they refused to prosecute them. At our borders, they're letting hundreds of thousands of people without masks, without vaccines, who haven't even been tested into our country on a monthly basis. This is not about safety. This is 100% about control, about scaring people because they're more easily manipulated when they're scared. This is also meant as a huge distraction from the failed policies of this administration. When you look at their defund the to fund police efforts that we've seen for the last two years. When you look at what's happening at the border, when you look at their failed financial policies that are leading to inflation and more small businesses being shut down, this is all meant as a distraction. I think the American people are fed up with it, and quite honestly, the Republican leaders in D.C. are sick of it, and we're going to start showing that we are, we are standing up for the American people. No, you're, you're showing it, that's for sure. You guys are showing it today. Congressman Biggs, Biden confirming today that federal employees are now required to get vaccinated or submit to regular testing. Here's more of what he had to say. For example, I know some of you are who are unvaccinated think the development of the vaccine was rushed, therefore I'm not going to take a chance. As a result, I think it's not safe because it was rushed. I understand. I'd imagine he understands because it was himself and people like Kamala Harris and Andrew Cuomo, who said all along before the 2020 election that you'd be crazy to trust a vaccine that was made under Donald Trump. And my, what a difference six or eight months makes, right? No, that's exactly right. And, it, and they, they've gone from, look, they, they said, we'll never take the vaccine. We don't trust it. We don't trust Donald Trump, et cetera. And now it's everybody has to have a vaccine to do anything in our society. And so one of the things, Rob, that's so important, and Beth was touching on it, is we, there's no scientific data to, to support this. In fact, in Washington, D.C., you are in the low range, and so it doesn't make sense to go ahead and start masking up and require it anyway. Mm -hmm. But, but what's, what's really the problem is what happens in Washington, D.C. with Congress is going to be filtered out through the entire country. And that's what Biden's doing, and that's where you're seeing some cities and states that are starting to move in that way. And they're starting to mask up children, and, and they're, they're really putting forth an overreaction when they don't have the science to support what they're doing. I mean, when you start bringing it to the, the, the place that has the highest percentage, perhaps, in the world, if not, if not the world, certainly in the country, sure. of people that who, are vac who are vaccinated, you say, we want you to wear a mask anyway. It just doesn't make sense and undermines the very message that they're trying to say, which is that vaccines work. Congresswoman Van Dyne, there's a push for the vaccine passport, uh, which we're already seeing happening in Europe. Uh, here's the head of the CDC, Rochelle Walensky. You can go to a disco, or a discotheque, as they like to call it there, if you have a, a health pass. Is that something that the CDC would ever lean into or perhaps advise here? You know, I think some communities are doing that, and, and that may very well be, be a path forward. It, it does seem like it's going to move in that direction, because right now what I think we see is the vilification of people that, that aren't vaccinated. And I think that the left is going to push hard to just make sure that everybody's got that card and you're going to have to flash it in a lot of places. You're already seeing businesses like Shake Shack. You can't even eat at a Shake Shack without a vaccination card. I don't know at what point in time do we stop you know, completely disrespecting people's individual rights on their own health care. Um, I, I, have, I have been vaccinated. That was a choice that I made. Sure. But I think everybody deserves an opportunity to do what they believe is best, understanding the risks that are involved. Have a conversation with your doctor. If it's deemed that the vaccine works for you, then you can get it. And yeah. if it doesn't, 
we should not be forcing people to take this risk. And as we have mentioned, there are risks involved. Yep. And, you know, if you're a doctor and you want to do it, that's fine. But Understood. the government should stay out of it. Absolutely. Yeah. No, I mean, this, I, like I've said a million times on the show, I had my parents vaccinated. I said, as, as soon as you can get it, get the vaccine, gauging from their age. I just knew it was the right move. I respect everybody's decision on this. Uh, Congresswoman Beth Van Dyne and Arizona Congressman Andy Biggs. Guys, thank you so much for joining us. Good to see you. Thank you, Bob. All right.